Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing my Watt Solds for last week, which will be Monday through Thursday, April 24th through the 27th. We're trying to get our videos together because we do plan on being out of town um, for Robert's martial arts test. And then we're running to New York after that to see my son. And so I'm just trying to get ahead of schedule. So I'm feeling kind of out of sorts because I'm doing stuff, you know, out of my normal routine. And I'm a routine kind of person. I like schedules and I'm just going to have to deal with this because we do need to bank some videos so that we can um, have stuff for you guys to watch while we're gone. I'm going to be taking seven days off. But... I had issues with eBay when I put my store on vacation last time when we went to Missouri. Just, just issues. So I think this time I'm not going to put my store on vacation, but I'm going to extend my handling time and I intend to send uh, messages, just making sure they realize that the handling time is because of my, that I'll be on vacation and I'm hoping to alleviate issues because I still want to do my delete or end and sell similars. I still want to be listing stuff. I still want to be sending offers and all of that I had issues with while we were in the vacation mode last time. So I'm just going to try it this way this time because I don't understand why we can't send offers or why we can't counter offer while we're on vacation. It totally messed up my, my when I had to ship in those scenarios. So the representative told me, if you can list while you're on vacation, then you should be able to ship. I have always shipped. I mean, I have always listed stuff. You know, you, you do up a bank, you do up drafts, but it was, it was a mess and I'm not going there again. But let's go ahead and get started on this. All right, though, we're going to start with something controversial because this Heartline Reese's Bear Plush um, sold, and I couldn't find it. It was from the High Bid Estate sale that I won two years ago. I went through all of my solds on eBay for the last two years because it would have been two, about two years ago. Um, I went through all of my solds on Mercari. Um, I wasn't selling on Poshmark back then. I went through Etsy. Nowhere had it sold. So I think what happened, it actually sold on Bonanza when I was doing Bonanza. And Bonanza takes your listings down for you. And I think I accidentally relisted it. And it's just been in the system until it finally sold. My mistake. I'm doing an inventory right now. But it's going to take me the whole year probably to do this inventory. But I'm hoping to catch stuff like that. But this is, this is the deal. I contacted the buyer. We always are supposed to contact the buyer. And I explained the situation. I did have another one of these bears. But it was the Hershey's bear, not the Reese's bear. And asked if it was going to be a suitable substitute. And I was going to give them a free, I mean, a refund if they wanted it. Um, but this ended up being a situation where the buyer did respond to me, said that, no, this was the one that they needed, which made me feel bad. Um, but they didn't want a replacement. And I mean, I, I personally think if you could replace something from your store, you know, that's a doable thing. But they didn't want a replacement. So I took the ding to my account. It's a defect. I canceled because I, I can't find the item. I am out of stock on this item. You know, some people say go in and try to find another one and have it shipped to them. I find that acceptable, but I just, I didn't have the time to do that. It needed to be shipped. Um, I didn't want to try to rely on somebody else to have the exact same plush with the exact same little tag. Just, I, I didn't. The, it's not a biggie for me. Now, for some people, it might be because it is a stuffed animal. I sell tons of stuffed animals, and this one defect 
is only making my transaction defect rate at 0.1. Um, but that's the way you're supposed to do it. This is eBay's policy right here. I got this straight out of eBay. Abusing the order cancellation process. We are not allowed to pick a false reason to cancel an order. A seller should never cancel an order and select an incorrect cancellation reason, including falsely claiming that the buyer failed to pay. Right here, activity that doesn't follow eBay policy could result in a range of actions, including canceling listings, hiding or demoting all listings from search results, blocking some or all of your messages, communications with other members, lowering your seller rating, buying or selling restrictions, account suspensions, application of fees, and it goes on. I mean, they could even try to charge you if they have to monitor your account. I know this is controversial, but it's the right thing to do. If you're going to cancel because you lost something, you broke something, you just need to take the defect because eBay is cracking down on accounts that are doing this. You might start out with a warning, then you might get a three-day suspension, a seven-day suspension, or you may have your account suspended permanently. It's not worth it. I'm getting a point one defect rate for this cancellation. You know, just, you got to do the right thing. That's all I'm going to say about this. All right. I had sales on all four platforms, um, but they were mostly bread and butter, y'all, a lot. I looked, just, I went back for that Monday through Thursday. I had two pitiful days, and then I had two days that were normal, I guess, but not, ex not excellent. Just normal. It is what it is. I'm going to just have to keep saying that over and over. It is what it is. And I just, Robert was showing me something the other day about using a database to make drafts. He was watching another YouTuber who was showing how to do that. And May 16th, eBay is changing a whole bunch of categories again. So maybe that's what's been stalling all of this out or if it's going to make it worse. I don't know. But yeah, they're messing with stuff again. So be ready. All right. So on Mercari, beautiful sale. Mione by Aurora, small black bear sold for $7. And then this Spark Create Imagine Unicorn Plush. I know I picked that up at that kid's consignment. I think there was like two of them banded together. Ended up not being worth as much as I had anticipated, but it sold $8. All right, Poshmark, I sold this Ariat women's cardigan sweater. That one was crazy to take pictures of. Just, mm -mm. and do the measurements. It sold on Poshmark for $12. A Lego minifigure sold on Poshmark. This is Star Wars. I didn't watch any of them. Key Gong. Then, I don't know, I used Google Lens, which ended up telling me who it belonged to, what box series it went to. It sold for $18. This is from that large Lego minifigure slot that I picked up in Cincinnati last year. And then this. I've had this listed for quite a while. Quite a while. And I have it on all the platforms. It is a Tyco California Roller Baby Doll from 1992. It did work. Um, let's see. It did have corroded batteries, but it was working. But lots of stains. You know, just be honest in your descriptions, especially when you're dealing with these vintage toys. A lot of times they do have issues. Unlike this last lot that I picked up from the estate sale. Oh my goodness. This stuff was excellent condition. But it's still sold on Poshmark for $45. One sell on Etsy. I need to do a lot of this um, new vintage plush that I picked up at the estate sale onto Etsy. I'm going to try to get that done this week because I've got big prices on a lot of it because in the conditions that they were in, 
there was nothing to compare it to. Nothing. But on Etsy, I sold this Applause Raggedy Ann doll. It was 18-inch special edition from 2002. It sold for $26.95. All right, now eBay. Lots of littles. This is from Krisha Playful Plush. It is the brand. It was a ra rabbit with a little cute Easter outfit on. Sold for $10 best offer. If you're new to my channel, I do not do free shipping. So when I say it sold for $10, they did also pay shipping. This is Hearth Hand, Hearth Hand, Magnolia Stoneware Salt and Pepper Shaker. I remember buying something and these were down in it. And these had nothing to do with what I had purchased, like Christmas or something. I just remember them being out of sorts in this box lot that I bought. Um, haven't had them listed a whole long time. Sold for $10.85.84. This has also been listed years. Years. I'm going to say it. I bought a baggie of, baggie of um, lapel pins at a yard sale one time. Didn't pay much. It was just a... Christmas and stuff like that, but down in that bag of stuff was this University of Tennessee Lady Vols lapel pin, finally sold, but I mean years, mm, eight or nine maybe, for $9.17. Embrace, nice vintage brand, but I don't find a whole lot of it. This is a white bear in a green velour dress, 15 inch, sold for $11.66. She was missing her hat. Webinub Giraffe Lovey. I hadn't had that brand before, but I, I think I must have got this out of um, one of my Goodwill bins. Um, didn't have it listed very long. It sold for $8. $8 to $12 is like my bread and butter. I sell a ton. In fact, we have a video. I probably need to do it again, but we have a video at one point. Robert went in and calculated everything that I had sold for the previous year um, that was $9.95 and less. And it was enough that it would pay my mortgage for the entire year. So I sell a lot of bread and butter. Folk Manus Brown Beaver Plush Hand Puppet. Pretty sure that this was in the gift box that Molly sent me recently. It sold for $13.45. Walgreens. Love picking up plush from Walgreens, but you know, Walmart, CVS, any of those that are like specialized, you know, made exclusively for them or whatever. I do really well with them. I mean, a lot of them are bread and butter, but they sell relatively quickly for me. And then some of them are surprise sales for, you know, 30, 40, 50 plus dollars. But this was a rabbit, had these gold glittery ears. Um, sold for $11.66. Now, these are from that hybrid estate sale that I won two years ago. Um, but these were little plush that I guess were given to guests from the Holiday Inn. I had one lot that still had their original paper tags and then another lot that I think didn't. So I made two different lots and this person ended up buying both lots, paid $29 for uh, you know, just little plush, um, and was sent me a note afterwards saying that she was thrilled to have all of these and how exciting it would have been, you know, as a child checking into a Holiday Inn and getting a plush like that. Moana, hey, hey, hi, hi. I really need to watch that. I do. I, it is a movie that I have been wanting to watch and I just never have sat down and watched it. But this is The Rooster. Um, from that movie, 10 inches, um, did have a lot of condition issues, but I still list them a lot of times, especially if they're older and, you know, harder to find, um, sold for $8.96. I just listed this. Um, it is Disney Lion King Rafiki Monkey Plush, 16 inch, sold same day I listed it, $16.95. Still haven't finished those Monster High dolls, but I picked, I think, two more of them up this week and got them listed. 
Um, so I've probably listed seven of the 30 some that I picked up, but I just, they are not fun to dress. They're not. But Monster High Freak de Chic Torale doll. Um, didn't have most, none of them had shoes, but I have been able to find, I think, the appropriate dresses for most of them. This one sold for $25.06. These are more of the HO H scale train accessories that we picked up at an estate sale. We bought like three boxes of them. I want to say we paid like $15 and $20 per box. I have sold tons of them. I don't have very much left. Um, but I ended up taking a best offer of $18 for these two sealed um, just platforms. I guess you build these elaborate systems and it was just platforms. Riders Women's Jeans, it's one of those brands we can pick up tons if we really want to. We are steering away from them some, but when we first started um, doing clothes, I think two years ago, I don't even think it's been two years, but maybe two years ago, we just bought a lot of, if, if it was cheap, you know, that's kind of like a lot of um, new people do. If it's cheap enough, go ahead and buy it. That's not always a really good strategy, but um, we're doing better about picking different brands, but these still sell. You know, we probably paid a dollar or less for them, probably in a fill a bag, um, and these women's jeans still sold for $12.50. Animal Adventure Green Dinosaur Plush from 2020 sold for $8.96. Peppa Pig plush, 7 inch, sold for $8.96. Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway, Harold the Helicopter, and then I threw in this little conductor figure. I picked um, up some Thomas, a lot of Thomas trains when we went to South Carolina uh, a couple of months ago, two months ago, and went, just wanted to go check out the bins down there. Um, sold these two pieces for $8.96. Kelly Toy Brown Bear Plush from 2016, $8.96. If I didn't have all these sales, yeah, you know, I wouldn't have been able to pay my bills. This is, thank goodness for bread and butter. These, I do believe these came from that hybrid estate sale. Also, a lot of fast food toys were mixed in with this stuff. Um, these are Taco Bell Thumbs of Fury Dose. I don't know what it is, but I think this was the complete set from 2010. I ended up taking a best offer of $10 for them. Russ White Persian Cat. Nine inch sold for fifteen dollars and twenty five cents. Disney Store Mulan Dog Plush. I guess his name is Little Brother. Again, it's another movie I've not watched. Sold for twelve dollars. Best offer. Hello Kitty Yellow Chick Rabbit Plush. Seven inch sold for fifteen dollars and twenty five cents. Trolls, I pick up most trolls that I find unless they're just in really bad condition. These also came from that hybrid estate sale and these two were by ITB. I tried looking that up. I never could figure out what that stood for or is it just ITB. From the 1990s, sold for $17.95. Carter's Child of Mine, Monkey Plush with a Teether. Um, sold for $11.66. Sanrio Niago Cat Plastic Cup from 2001. I put a high price on there and it's been listed for a while. So when I got a $25 offer for this cup, I just went ahead and accepted it. $25 for a plastic cup. Boxy's Storybook Pal Bear. Now this, um, it opens up, let me see how that goes. It sold for $10.49, but I got to take this price off in order to see the other pictures. This kind of like 
won't let you go anywhere once you put that on there. Let me see where it is. How it opens up and there's a book on the inside. I hadn't remembered how that goes. So there it is. This is a bear plush. Pretty sure I got this at the bins from 1999, um, Jamaica. I received a sweet message. Somebody was wanting to buy this for their granddaughter. It's been listed a while. They gave me a $10 offer and I just decided to make somebody's day and accept the offer. Now this is from the recent huge lot of plush that I picked up at an estate sale and was given the opportunity to go to the home and source from the home. This was a Hasbro Stuart Little clip-on plush, six inch. It was a Blockbuster exclusive. Unfortunately, um, when I pulled out the little battery compartment, um, it was one of those ones that they had left button cell batteries inside of it, the little round circle ones, and they were just very corroded. Couldn't get it to work. Um, so I listed it still at $14.95 and got an instant offer of $12.25. So that was the first thing that has sold from that large lot. Thinking this was a Ben's find, um, but it's a Mattel Barbie Purple Chase Lounge chair from 2005. $22 for a Barbie chair. Marvel Avengers Incredible Hulk Pillow Plush, 22 inch, sold for $17.95. I think I just showed that recently in a haul video. Tweety Bird Backpack. We went to an estate sale and the basement was just full of Tweety Bird stuff. The prices were a little bit up, so I picked out a few that I liked. Um, this was one of them. I want to say probably two or three dollars for it. Sold for seventeen dollars and ninety-five cents. Carter's gray hippo plush. I pick up most things Carter's. I tend to do at least my bread and butter prices on them. But if you can pick them up for a quarter or fifty cents at yard sales, I, I'm okay. You know, I do okay with that. Um, this one was from two thousand fifteen. Sold for thirteen dollars and forty-five cents telling you a lot of little. These are proper men's cargo pants. Um, sold for $15. I think we picked these up at a church sale um, for a dollar or two. <laughs> Let me tell you the story on this. I messed up. I messed up. It, the tag said large and I just assumed it was a men's large and it sold very quickly for I think $50 the first time. The buyer was very understanding because I did have the measurements. So I, I think he wasn't putting the whole blame on me because he saw the measurements and still didn't realize that it was a youth um, jersey. So I got it back, listed it, sold it the same day again. I had lowered the price a little bit because it was a youth um, but $39.68 for this New York Knicks Allen Houston jersey. I think I picked this up at an estate sale for like a dollar recently. It's Avon, a merry little Christmas um, display. And I guess you bought the little mice separately because I did see this stand being sold all by itself with none of the little ornaments hanging. Um, Took a best offer of $10 for it. I was going through my death pile stuff. My profit piles, right? The other day and um, just happened to real, realize I had two of these tucked away in a box of stuff that I need to go through. But I went ahead and grabbed them up. These are Kenner Hugger Bunch. Uh, Hugger. Hug a Bunch Babies. They come with a larger doll. And then these are the babies that that doll holds. Um, but this was hug a -bye and Giglet. Um, sold very quickly, $16.16. .16. So if you ever see these, especially at the bins, they do really well, especially if they've still got their original diapers, which one of these did and one of them didn't. More stuff from that high bid estate sale. I don't re remember selling this much in a four-day 
time frame for a really, really long time. But I want a bunch of these State Farm Bears. And so I, I did some that were very unique um, in, individually or in small lots. And then I started lotting up some of the others. Like none of these had pants on. Um, but these three sold for best offer of $20. This is a viewer sale. So thank you so much, Sherry. Sherry um, loves to support my channel. She buys a whole lot of monkeys and apes and gorillas and stuff. But this is Russ Rutherford Monkey Plush. He is a thumb sucker. 11 inches. Sold for $13.45. Okie dokie. Loveys. I pick up most loveys as long as they're in good condition. Didn't have a tag, but I was able by using like lime green and monkey to figure out who the brand was. Sold for $13.45. Pillow Pets. Um... I don't tend to pick these up very often. They, they take up a whole lot of space, and they usually do take quite a while to, to sell. This one was only listed a couple of months. Um, it's a panda bear. It's one of the smaller ones. Spread out, it's still only 11 inches. Um, sold for $11.66. This I also picked this up at the bins in South Carolina. This is LuLaRoe Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, they're the tween size. Sold very quickly for $8.71. And a couple of my large, larger dollar sales. These are L.L. Bean women's bib overalls. They were vintage. They said made in Hong Kong. Um, they were medium size but tall for tall women. Um, Robert hates uh, taking pictures of bibs. But they tend to do very, very well for us. So definitely, if you come across bibs, I think another one of the really good brands we find is Pointer. Um, pick them up. Check the comps. And even sometimes in not the greatest of condition, they still do well. This pair sold for $38 best offer. Robert picked this up at a yard sale. I think we, we did one of those live video footage on this one. It was a person who was going out of business on eBay. And because she said she just found it more confusing than um, she wanted to deal with. Um, but she said she never could figure out what this was. Um, Robert ended up using Google Lens. I'm not even going to try Tara, Humara, goat skinned, pottery vessel. Um, had lots of condition issues. And we always put on stuff like this. It just kind of leaving all cleaning to buyer. Leaving all cleaning to buyer. Um, ended up getting a $50 offer, which I went ahead. I usually ask him when it's this oddball stuff like this that he's picked up, how we usually say, do you want to take $50 for it? And he was like, yep. Because it's been listed probably since last summer. Then my best sale is more clothes. These are Levi Silver Tab Men's Jeans. They sold for $55. Best offer. Going to go out to dinner here in just a little bit and get some more work done. I'm almost sadly I'm almost done listing all of the stuff from that estate sale all the beautiful plush but and then I'll be back to the bins bags y'all bins bags more yard sale stuff too so it's always something to do here always but look at my wall look at my wall love my wall all right bye